Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, here with some thoughts on um, Vladimir Klitschko and how to cope with him inside. Um, I get a lot of feedback from subscribers on YouTube, and one subscriber, Vaccinate, who keeps me on my toes, V-A-X-I-N-A-T-E, um, asked how would someone deal with Vladimir Klitschko inside, and he made the point that he believed Prime Holifield would beat Vladimir Klitschko. I agree. Let's go further. You know, I've been ridiculed online because I believe that near 50-year-old Evander Holifield gives Vladimir Klitschko all he can handle Let's go one step further. My best evidence is the first round of yesterday's fight between Mormek and Vladimir Klitschko. In fact, because that round establishes what we've been talking about here on YouTube for a while, that one, Vladimir Klitschko cannot fight inside. Right? You don't see in that first round Klitschko punishing Mormek for getting inside on him. Right? Mormek literally gets under Klitschko's arms. You don't see Klitschko pivot and throw hard hooks to the body. You don't see Klitschko take a Rocky Marciano step back and throw an uppercut. Right? You don't see more mech, as Teddy Atlas likes to say, pay a price for the real estate. Instead, you see more mech get inside, and what Klitschko does repeatedly is he just grabs him. And it's not even a good grab. He's not clinching with a hand free and throwing punches like an Andre Ward did against Alan Green and at times against Carl Frotch, right? In other words, when you look at a Klitschko, understand his athleticism is off the page. I'm not challenging that. His punching power is off the page. If you're an opponent, you don't have a huge margin of error, right? His jab is off the page. But this is fighting, right? It's like a chain. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. And the reason why I don't place Vladimir Klitschko on the same level as I would place a Vitaly Klitschko or a Mike Tyson, who I believe would beat him, is because if you can get inside of Vladimir Klitschko's jab, and if you get up on him, there isn't a lot there, right? Before this fight, I don't think anyone considered Mormek to be that fleet of foot. But yet Mormek routinely gets inside on him. And my point is simply that some OGs in this sport, right? A guy like you know, a uh, Evanda Holifield, let's expand the list. A guy who works angles, like an Antonio Tarver, and another guy who beat Tarver, and I know I'm going to lose credibility on this last one, but a Bernard Hopkins, just in terms of skill, would have a huge advantage on Vladimir Klitschko inside. Think about it. Mormek has given post-fight interviews where he's talked about how the fight was stopped prematurely. By the way, let me say this. Mormek was getting beaten up. But the fight clearly stopped prematurely because when you look at the tape, and I know this is unpopular, I'm not saying Mormek was winning the fight, but when you look at the tape, Mormek's talking to the referee. Mormek's complaining. Then he beats the count. He's up on his feet. Right? This is a guy who's stunned, hits the canvas, the ref comes over, and then he's telling the ref, look, you know, this guy's leaning on me inside, yada, yada. 
Then, of course, the ref stops the fight. We've seen guys come back and win heavyweight titles in worse shape than Mormek was when this fight got stopped. Right? So, we'll just say that. But Mormek himself in post-fight interviews talks about how when he got inside, Vladimir was in trouble. Now, my point to you is this. Evander Holyfield, right? When Evander Holyfield gets inside, an opponent can't be as unprepared as Vladimir Klitschko was. And if Vladimir Klitschko tries to lean on Evander Holyfield, the guys who fight inside know to put their hand up, to put a forearm on the guy's chest, right? To literally use the lean against the guy doing the leaning, right? You know, not only that, you'll see it in Andre Ward fights. The guy inside who's getting leaned on always tries to have a hand free. Keep in mind, if I know you're going to lean on me, if I know where your body is going to be, then I can have you lean into something, right? Rocky Marciano on the inside would literally have you fall into an uppercut, right? Evander Holyfield would come inside, think about what he'd know. He'd know that Vladimir Klitschko's height would be a problem for Vladimir Klitschko because Klitschko isn't a guy who bends at the waist, right? He fights straight up. And he's not a guy who leans in and is hitting you in the kidneys, hitting you in the rib cage with devastating hooks to the body. So Holifield would get in and he would know Klitschko's going to try to tie him up, right? And Klitschko's going to try to lean on him. So think about it. He comes inside. We've seen guys fighting inside have a hand up, right? So Klitschko would be leaning into a forearm. Think about how that would be. Klitschko leaning forward and a Holyfield has a forearm up and Klitschko's leaning into the forearm, having his head bent back by a forearm. Meanwhile, Holyfield would have a hand free. If Holyfield were prime Mike Tyson, let's give Mike respect. He's not going to come inside and just stand there and wait for you to lean on him unless you're so overmatched like Bone Crusher Smith that Tyson already knows he's won the fight. No, prime Tyson, when he got inside, like he did against Frank Bruno, for example, is bouncing around inside. It's hard to hit Tyson's head because Tyson is bouncing. This is prime Tyson. Meanwhile, like Marciano, Tyson has a brutal uppercut. And of course, Tyson would be throwing hooks to your body. So as you're trying to grab him and lean on him, it'd be very hard to clinch prime Tyson. Let's go further. Lennox Lewis, big man. Take a look at Lennox Lewis against Andrew Galata. Right? Lewis literally smothers Galata in that fight. He comes in, he's throwing bombs, he's up on Galata, he's not giving Galata an opportunity to recuperate. Could you imagine what would happen if Lennox Lewis got inside of Vladimir Klitschko's jab? I'll tell you what I think would happen. The same thing that happened when Corey Sanders got inside of Vladimir Klitschko's jab. So as we analyze Vladimir Klitschko, and I know I'm hard on some fighters, I'm a Vladimir Klitschko skeptic, right? I believe Vitaly Klitschko is the dominant heavyweight of the post Lennox Lewis era, right? When I look at a Vladimir Klitschko fight and I'm seeing more mech get inside routinely, and then someone's going to ask me whether I think Vladimir Klitschko is an all-time great. You know, all I can say is, wow, understand this heavyweight division has had guys who not only got inside, but who lived inside. And I understand, I understand 
that we're in the 21st century and Vladimir Klitschko is so much bigger than a Rocky Marciano who wasn't a six footer, than a Joe Fraser. I understand it, right? I understand it. But let's not kid ourselves, right? It only takes so much to get a concussion, right? Evander Holifield is a heavyweight. It's not all athleticism and youth. There is skill involved. We've seen Evander Holifield against Mike Tyson fight an aggressive fighter and be able to literally stay on his chest. And we know that unlike his brother Vitaly, Right, who actually digs hard punches to the rib cage and who throws an uppercut. We know Vladimir Klitschko is more of a jab, right hand type fighter. Right, he's not known to fight inside. Let me also say this too. He fought David Hay. David Hay got inside on Vladimir Klitschko. Klitschko then leaned on Hay, and Hay, in what I believe was a rehearsed move because Hay himself can't fight inside, Hay flopped. You remember that? Happened several times in the fight. Where Hay gets inside, Vladimir Klitschko leans forward. In my opinion, Vladimir Klitschko's not even a good leaner, right? Vladimir Klitschko leans forward, David Hay flops. What happens if David Hay gets inside, Vladimir Klitschko leans forward, David Hay is able to pivot like Mike Tyson and hit him flush with an uppercut. We already know Vladimir Klitschko doesn't have a bulletproof chin, right? What happens if a Mike Tyson hits him with an uppercut? What happens if an Antonio Tarver gets inside, fakes like he's coming all the way inside, right? Vladimir Klitschko starts to lean to grab him, and then Tarver's able to take a step back and literally drill him with the left hand from Tarver's southpaw stance. You know, in my opinion, as good as Vladimir Klitschko is, that first round, and forget the first round, look at the second round, look at the third round of the Moore Mech fight. That's revealing, right? Vladimir Klitschko has a problem in side right he's best when he has an opponent who wants to fight him at arm's length because once the guy gets inside if the guy knows what to do inside Vladimir Klitschko doesn't bend at the waist he doesn't have much of a body attack he's a head hunter he's a guy who tries to clinch you and lean on you and it's awkward leaning right he doesn't find you to lean on you. I know I got ripped online for this comment earlier. He's not George Foreman with the lean, right? George Foreman would come find you and then lean on you, right? No, he only leans on you when you get inside on him. Why? Because that's all he can do. In the Mormek fight, it's fascinating. Mormek gets inside. He just doesn't know what to do once he's inside. He doesn't come inside with a combination already in his head, like an Evander Holifield would, like a Mike Tyson would, right? Could you imagine what would happen? Just ask yourself as you watch this Mormek first round, what would happen if Mormek, when he gets inside, comes in with a forearm up, right? So Vlad's leaning into the forearm and then is hitting Vlad in the rib cage and then dancing around him like Manny Pacquiao does, right? Pac doesn't just come and stand in front of you. No, there are angles involved, right? All I'm saying is Vladimir Klitschko, great athlete, not that great a chin, not that great an inside game. I think if you're analyzing opponents for Vlad, forget the age, because boxing is a lot about skill. Why doesn't Vlad fight Evander Holyfield? I believe the reason is simple. He has nothing to gain. If the fight is close, people are going to say, how good was Vladimir Klitschko if a 50-year-old gave him this kind of problem? Right? If Holyfield pulls the upset, 
we're going to say, wow, Vladimir Klitschko lost to a 50-year-old, right? He would feel like Jean Pascal does right now for his loss to Bernard Hopkins in some ways. I know Hopkins is not quite 50, but there's nothing to add to his legacy for a Holofield fight. But let me just say, if sports fans thought this through based on styles, they would want him to fight a guy who knows what he's doing inside, right? And all I'm saying is, you know, if a Rocky Marciano or a Joe Fraser got on side, uh, got inside against Vladimir Klitschko, right? Let's get real. All I'm saying is, you know, if these guys are going to town on Vladimir Klitschko's ribcage, ask yourself, what would Vlad do to get them off of him? Right? Let me also make a point on Joe Fraser before I forget it. You know, in the rematch of the first Ali Fraser fight, understand Ali won that fight by illegally pushing down on the back of Joe's neck. Right? Uh, take a look at the film. It was an illegal move. What happened that made the thriller in Manila, the thriller in Manila, the third fight? was that the referee, I believe it was Carlos Padilla, when Ali pushes on the back of Fraser's neck, that referee broke it up and says to Ali early on, you can't do that, right? So without the ability to push down on the back of Joe Fraser's neck, Ali had no answers for Joe Fraser inside and understand Ali moved a lot better. Even 1975 Ali moved a lot better. I mean, and I mean a lot better than Vladimir Klitschko and didn't just throw a left right. Ali was a combination puncher and he had no way to keep Joe Fraser off his ribcage. Also, Ali was much better at tying up Joe Fraser than Vladimir Klitschko is. When Vladimir Klitschko ties up more Mac, as you look at the film, just ask yourself, are more mechs hands free? Right? You and I know Rocky Marciano inside with free hands. Joe Fraser inside with free hands. Evander Holofield inside with free hands. You're asking for trouble. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. And let me just say this. You know, really in boxing, styles make fights. Don't just look at the fitness of the athlete. Ask yourself how his style fits with his opponent's style. Vladimir Klitschko can be as dominant as possible when he's fighting guys at arm's length and further than arm's length. Is he dominant inside? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.